Hi guys, it's Steph. Welcome back to my second channel. Today we are making some pumpkin pie pudding shots. How good does that sound? Pudding shots I think are so much better than jello shots. I'm not a huge fan of the way jello's texture is. It like makes me want to just gag. <laughs> But the pudding shots are always so good. Like I've I've made birthday cake pudding shots before with sprinkles on top. We'll have to do those for my birthday next year. But we're gonna try a pumpkin pie kind. Never made them before, and we're gonna be following this recipe I found on Pinterest. So here is the page we are following, Simple Joy. And I got all the ingredients today at Target. Look how good that looks. So the ingredients that you need are a graham cracker crust. This is for the garnish on top to make it look pretty and taste good. And then we have some vanilla vodka, some whipped cream, some milk, some pumpkin pie spice, pumpkin puree, and some vanilla jello powder. And then I just got these little cups. Everything was from Target. Let's begin. Okay, get yourself a bowl, and first we're gonna do 3.4 ounces of the instant vanilla pudding powder. Um, I bought the big box, but you're gonna wanna get the small box, that's 99 cents. That's the exact amount of ounces, this one's like five something, so I'm gonna just split this exactly in half. I'm such the type of person to like not measure. I mean, this is all like good tasting stuff, so it's gonna, it's gonna taste right no matter what. I would say maybe a little bit more. That's about half. And now we're doing three fourths a cup of cold milk. It's gotta be cold. It's still cold from the grocery store. Probably because it's also like 20 degrees outside, so it has no time to heat up. That's one third. So does that mean one more? <laughs> Wait, I'm confused. Three fourth a cup. Okay, three fourth a cup. What is one third? You guys, I'm so bad at math. <laughs> so bad at math. So my half a cup is in the dog the dog food. Three fourth a cup. Fractions are the most confusing thing. Three fourth a cup. I for some reason don't have that measurement. I only have one third a cup, half a cup, or a cup. So how do I get one third a cup? I don't have one fourth a cup. Okay, the only way to find out is we're gonna dump a little bit of milk in the, well, we can use water. No one, no one yell at me in the comments. Math was not my strong suit. Okay, well, two of these equaled about three-fourths a cup. So, there we go, we figured it out, I was gonna say. Good thing I have extra jello mix because I may have just messed up. Now we're doing a half a cup of vanilla vodka. I don't even know what this tastes like. I've never had just this. <clears throat> Oh my goodness. Ugh. It doesn't smell like vanilla at all. It smells like just straight vodka. Okay, half a cup. I would try it, but I don't want to. All right, now we are doing half a cup of pumpkin puree. I already have one open because Hershey eats this all the time and I was transitioning her to her new food, so I was adding pumpkin puree to it. So half a cup. Well, like I need to order more, more measuring cups. The dogs took over them all. Cause Mochi has my one fourth a cup, Hershey's got my half a cup, which I don't even know why. She's got a half a cup. She should have a whole cup. I don't know, it's probably cause I lost my, or I need my whole cup. <laughs> That's like the one you use like the most. I would say that's about a half a cup. I'll put maybe one more dollop in here. Mm. You guys, I accidentally bought a sweet potato pie instead of pumpkin pie. And me and my friends all started eating it and we had like no idea. And then we looked at it and we're like dying laughing. We're like, how did we do that? No idea. We were all together and we went wine taste testing at a winery and then we went in the gift shop and bought the pie. 
And yeah, I picked up the wrong, the wrong kind. They all look the same, but it was actually pretty good. But I mean, I'd rather have pumpkin pie. And then two teaspoons of pumpkin spice seasoning. I could not find this seasoning. I was like standing there looking for so long. I thought it was gonna be in like a big container. Okay, two teaspoons. Here we go. All right, now we're gonna mix this all together. See what we get. The dogs never step away from me. <laughs> they are always right underneath my feet and I almost trip on her all the time. Okay, so here is what the mixture looks like. Mmm, yum, 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 it smells so good. So it says to let this sit in the refrigerator for at least 45 minutes, but it'll be better if you do it like the night before. So I'm doing it overnight, they'll be ready. For tomorrow and then we add the whipped cream and the graham cracker on top so I'm just gonna line these up on a cooking sheet I don't know how much it'll make we'll find out and then we're gonna just keep it in the refrigerator and I'll pull them out in like about 24 hours and they're gonna be so good <laughs> okay now we're gonna fill up each cup I want them to be like all equal so let's see how we'll do this I'm trying to find like the perfect size I feel like bigger like that it's also gonna have like whipped cream on it. This one needs more. I feel like that was perfect. That size were right there. Okay, so that only made about 10. There's still a little bit left in there that I could get out with the spatula. But I'm actually gonna double this recipe. There's probably gonna be about 10 of us, but you're gonna want more than one, I feel like. Because I think they're gonna be really good. So I'm gonna double it and make 10 more. All right, there we go. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 24 pumpkin pie pudding shots. I'm gonna put these in the fridge overnight and I'll get back to you guys when we top them off with whipped cream and some cinnamon and the graham cracker and try them.